Welcome to our third edition of Reimagining Logistics. This is an evening for inspiration, with lots of time to reconnect and to make new friends. Um, I see that most of you have the badges, that helps a lot in making new friends. Thank you very much for the Beta House, uh, to the Beta House team for their hospitality. As you may have uh, certainly realized, we moved from factory to Beta House this year. Beta House had its 10 year anniversary a couple of weeks ago. They were the first and largest for a long time co working space in Berlin, and the founders managed to grow Beta House organically to a European network of co working spaces. So, if you want to know how co working really works sustainably, then don't look at WeWork, talk to Beta House. <laughs> also, thanks a lot, thanks so much to my colleagues Christy, hello Christy, and Lucas, where's Lucas, who managed to organized this evening, literally all of it. So I have to applaud them now, you can join me. <laughs> Regular guests to our Reimagining Logistics event know that our company name Beam comes from Star Trek, or rather from Christoph Bollmann's affection for Star Trek. Beaming would be the ultimate disruptor for our parent company, the Bollmann Group, and also for Intra Logistics. And we feel that by now, to stick to beaming, we have fully materialized here in Berlin. During the last 1.5 years, we have evaluated more than 50 logistics problems, 15 of which were so great that we pitched them to interested entrepreneurs. We have had contact with more than 350 potential founders. At the moment, we get about two applicants per day. And 21 of these, so one in 16, started what we call a problem validation with us. And four of these managed to launch their own startup with us this year. The companies are called Codept and Sparrow. The founders are with us tonight. Gentlemen, would you like to give the audience a three-sentence overview of the problem you are solving? Jonas, you go first. Codept. Hi, my name is Jonas, I'm the co-founder of Codept, and we combine all logistics services for e-commerce behind one API. So if you have a 3PL to integrate, or you have a last mile problem you want to solve, or let's say you want to improve the efficiency and flexibility of your fulfillment chain, you integrate us, and you never have to think about that again. So instead, you can make your customers happy by fulfilling your stuff on time and cheaply and efficiently instead of solving the same problem again and again and again and again. But that's it. Yes. And Mayor from Sparrow. Hello. Yeah, so we were with pictures, as you can see. Um, so my name is Meir, uh, with me is Lars over there. Uh, together we founded Sparrow. Sparrow is a platform for sharing spare parts. And the idea behind it is that today many users of spare parts, mechanical spare parts, complex systems, uh, cannot optimize their spare parts, cannot get the right spare parts when they need them, but creating a virtual pool of spare parts allows everyone to get the parts when they need them and reduce their own costs. Um, there's a lot of super great advantages to that, but it's more detailed. So the reason the faces are there and the emails and the numbers are there is that you can find us later and talk to us about this. We love being challenged, we love sharing our ideas, and if anyone wants to join the platform, it's up and running. So that's it. Thank you. In about 30 minutes, my very new Head of Venture Development colleague Jesper will interview two great investment professionals on their view of the logistics startup landscape together. They see a tremendous amount of logistics startups, which not only have what we call product market fit, but also enough momentum to qualify for multi-million euro investment. And I'm very much looking forward to their opinion and perspective on the European logistics startup landscape. Next up is a panel on warehouse automation, together with two very distinguished industry professionals. But before we get started, I would like to ask Christoph Bäumer on stage. 
Christoph is the CEO of the Bäumer Group. I'm sure most of you know him. And without you, Christoph, Beam wouldn't exist. Yeah, thank you, Robert. So, as Robert said, this is the third time we have this uh, event, and uh, we learn. We get better each and every time with this event. The first time I had a 20 minutes presentation. The second time I was about five to 10 minutes asked to talk about something, and now he said, it's good to say hello. And that's what I'm doing here, <laughs> saying hello, Welcome everybody, I really appreciate this format here, bringing the people from the BVL Congress together with the startups. You recognize the Congress people with a jacket and the startup people with the jeans. So I try to be somewhere in the middle. And the idea is to learn a bit here, but not too long, but then get connected, have a beer, have some chats and have some fun. One thing I want to do is to say really thank you very much and high appreciation to our BEAM team here, Robert with his team, he introduced his uh, teammates already. I can only say really thank you very much. We started this journey here some time ago and it's always big fun also for me to come here and to see the developments. Congratulations and go on that way. Thank you very much. <laughs>